Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today's video is about the fascinating world of praying mantises. Did you know that these insects have a special place in many cultures and even in the Bible? Praying mantises are known for their unique appearance and hunting skills. With their elongated bodies and long, thin legs, they resemble miniature warriors. They have a unique way of catching their prey by remaining still and patiently waiting for the right moment to strike. This is a good reminder for us as Christians to be patient in our lives and trust in God's timing. Another interesting fact about praying mantises is their name. They are called praying mantises because of their distinctive posture, which resembles someone in prayer. While we know that praying mantises are not actually praying, this can still serve as a reminder to us to make prayer a regular part of our lives. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing. The Bible encourages us to pray without ceasing. This means that we should make prayer a regular habit in our lives, just like praying mantises have a regular habit of hunting for food. But it's their hunting tactics that really set them apart. Praying mantises are ambush predators, patiently waiting for their prey to come close before striking with lightning-fast reflexes. They are also known for their ability to rotate their heads almost 180 degrees, giving them an incredible range of vision. Praying mantises also go through a process called molting, where they shed their old skin and grow a new one. This process can take several hours and requires a lot of energy and effort on the mantis's part. But in the end, the mantis emerges with a fresh, new skin that allows it to continue growing and thriving. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. As Christians, we too are called to undergo a transformation, shedding our old ways and becoming a new creation in Christ. This process may not be easy and may require effort and energy on our part, but in the end, we emerge with a renewed spirit that allows us to continue growing and thriving in our faith. Praying mantises are actually quite beneficial to humans. They feed on pests like mosquitoes, flies, and even other insects that can damage crops. As Christians, we can appreciate the beauty and diversity of God's creation, and the unique role that each creature plays in the ecosystem. Even the seemingly insignificant insects like the praying mantis have a purpose and a value in God's eyes. In fact, the Bible tells us that all creatures belong to God, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. In Psalm 50 verses 10 to 11, the psalmist writes, Every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. So the next time you see a praying mantis in your garden or in the wild, take a moment to appreciate its unique beauty and the important role it plays in God's creation. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from the praying mantis and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.